good news. We are five minutes into the nine o'clock hour, and it's more like great news that we are joined once again by Josh Ritter. He's here in the volume.com studio. Welcome back, Josh. Howdy. How's it going, guys? Hello. It's going great. So right. good to see you. Welcome back. And Thank you. Congratulations! The new album, Spectral Lines, finally out in the world today. Yeah, today, yeah, yeah. feels feels good. <laughs> feels great. That's awesome, yeah, yeah. man. It's yeah, funny, funny. It feels like this is my eleventh record I put out, and it never, never stops feeling like the first time. It's great. That's a beautiful thing, yeah. man. It's yeah. uh, that's so cool. We're getting uh, getting ready for uh, your show. At the Ryman coming up on uh, May thirteenth, which is uh, you're bringing the Royal City Band for yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, notice that. Uh, so you you brought your acoustic guitar this morning. I uh, noticed that uh, you know the tour dates kind of vary. Some are with the Royal City Band and some are solo acoustic. Yeah. This 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 upcoming tour is mostly uh, is mostly me on uh, with the band, and then uh, and then of course I, I I write songs on my own, and I love to sing. I'd say I started singing them at open mics and farmers markets. So like I love playing on my own. And so I do that too from time to time. Yeah. Kind of like getting back to the roots. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's a it's it's really it's really good at sharpening sharpening the the, the blade. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's awesome, man. Uh, so yeah, we've uh, we've been playing that uh, lead single uh, and loving uh, the song as well uh, for your soul. Thank you. Sounding sounding great. So. Um, Actually, do you want to start off? Maybe we'll play a tune for us, and sure, then we'll chat yeah. a little bit about the making of the record. What uh, what song you want to play for us first? This song is called Strong Swimmer. Strong Swimmer. Right. We've got Josh Ritter live here uh, in the Volume.com studio, streaming at Volume.com, and live here on Lightning 100. On the night that you were born, your mama, who had many friends Took you down across the reach to meet the tide Come in There were no lilies from my footsteps There were no temper curtains torn Still I felt you move inside me A strong swimmer to be born La 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 oh, the wind was in my hair In your cheeks reflect the salt Your eyes were two boats for the moon I said, strong swimmer you'll be called Far below, and the birds that float the midway air like driven flakes of snow. I cannot go where you are going, I can no longer fight those waves. Still, I watch you tell you're out of sight, a strong swimmer all the way. La -da 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 -da. La -da 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 On the night you were born Your mama who had many friends Took you down across the reach to meet the tide Josh Ritter live here in the volume.com studio. Strong Swimmer, the name of that one. You can hear it on that new record available now. Spectral Lines. Get it. 
as of get it. today. It's out there now. <laughs> get it. Uh, sounding great as always, Josh. Man, thanks so much for being here again. And, uh, Thank you. And congratulations on the new record. Wanted to ask you uh, a little bit about that. Um, not So in, in kind of staying with what you have been doing, you a long time... A collaborator, uh, Sam was uh, Sam Casier, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, the, but a lot, of, and I hadn't worked with Sam, and I mean, we, we'd worked together on projects, but not as producer and artist in in about ten years, and and it, it it just felt, you know, when 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 I started writing these songs, it was at the beginning of the pandemic, and and you know, I think for for a lot of folks, all of us in music, that was a, a, a really strange time because because I think we were confronted with the idea that not only were we not going to be playing live anytime soon, but we might not even be making records. You know, we might not be able to be in the same room together ever again. And it really, it really pared things down to what, you know, why am I writing songs? Like what's, what's the, what's the actual point? And the point is writing songs. So, yeah. <laughs> and so that's how it, that's how these songs kind of came about. And when it time came time to produce them and things started to loosen up a little bit and vaccines were invented and things, that's when, uh, we started to approach the songs and 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 wanted to really record them in the spirit they were kind of written in, you know, which is like that not, all things are tenuous and sure. we should be grateful for all things we have, you know. Here, here, well yeah. said, Josh. Uh, so you, uh, so you mentioned you said you began writing right around that time. So is it is it all new tracks? We've and I'm I'm just curious because we've had a, asked it a lot of artists, you know, was it all new stuff? A lot of artists were saying, like, uh, we had the Revivalists in uh, earlier in the mm -hmm. week, and they're like, we went back through a bunch. Because, you know, you'll, you always write more songs than actually go on each yeah. record. So there's probably, you know, to whatever level, some of that material that, oh, I'll revisit that. Oh, or yeah. it doesn't fit on this record. Was, was there some of that, or was it yes. all new? Okay. Yeah, you know, well, there it was not so much going back so much as... Uh, as 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 hol you know when I, I never like choose which songs I'm gonna write I just sit down and I write and that song uh, will I sometimes feel like okay this could go over here in this bucket of songs that kind of it lives with sure you know and, and but so much about making an album is is cutting the stone to begin with to to turn into a statue and really that cutting the stone is 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 going to the project with say thirty songs and then paring it down to the ones that truly fit together yeah. and form like a cohesive piece so it's always so I'm I'm all I I have songs that I've never put on anything that are always in my consideration for will they fit somewhere. But but these were mostly ones that were written dealing with that time, the pandemic, the loss of my mom, uh, the, that, that kind of profoundly unsettled time. Uh, uh, when the songs finally started coming, those were those were the ones that really attracted me in terms of making a record. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of get to that point where it's like it, it, much to like you say, was, you know, sharpening, doing the the solo acoustic thing. It just it kind of just comes pouring out of you. Yeah, like, you know, you write one and then you there's an idea for another one that wasn't there when before Absolutely. you started the, the one you just were working on. I, I feel thing. sometimes like with with creativity, it's funny like that you say that because. I love the trick where the where the magician pulls out the handkerchief out of his sleeve and it's connected to like 500 other It just keeps going and <laughs> going, yeah. and going yeah. and yeah. going. It, that's how they seem to work. They are all connected. They're tied by the tail. Right on. Yeah. Uh, again, we've got uh, Josh Ritter joining us here in the Volume.com studio, uh, getting ready for uh, Josh and the Royal City Band. They're playing a show out at Ryman Auditorium. It's coming up uh, Saturday, May 13th. They're going to give you a chance to call us here and uh, win some tickets. Uh, and, of course, we are streaming at Volume.com as yeah. well. Uh, do we have some uh, some anybody on the chat have we any do, questions? We do have a question from the chat for you. How does it feel to have Bob Dylan cover a song that you wrote? <laughs> it, it it feels quite rarefied, and uh, it feels uh, it's surreal, and uh, and uh, and just you know, I wrote I wrote the song he he sang. I wrote that twenty five years ago in 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 the stairwell of my dorm in college, and and I think that if that kid could have known that 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 would one day happen. Um, uh, I wonder what that would have been like. But like to 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 know that I was on the right track the whole time was a, f a profound experience. Yeah, totally amazing. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, any any more on the chat right now, Mel? Or that's all we got for now. Okay, right now we'll uh, we'll uh, ask Josh if uh, he wants to play another song for sure, us here yeah. in the studio. Oh, let's sing the song. This I want to send this out to the Tennessee Three here. Missionary zeal Mercenary eyes The 
world puts its whole foot down on the little guy and grinds him on down. Back to the dust from whence he came. Someday there's gonna be justice. Will it be today? The dark is too hungry. Nothing's ever quite enough. So throw both arms around the whole world and the ones you love. And give them everything you have. From what cannot be repaid. Someday there's gonna be justice. Get it right. We who try with all our might to somehow push a mountain up a hill. We who are not deities. We who speak in blasphemies. We whose time has not yet come but will. I've seen a whole lot. I remember. Things that I cannot forget. And if the world is getting kinder, I haven't noticed yet. If we're gonna make it, things are gonna have to change. Be justice. Someday there's gonna be justice. Someday there's gonna be justice. Will it be today? Will it be today? Once again, Josh Ritter live here in the volume.com studio and streaming over at volume.com slash lightning100, which is where that chat is, which is where you can ask questions and say things. And we do have a comment in here from uh, Julie Bird that said she always loves catching you live. And uh, luckily for her, actually, uh, she is our winner of the ah. contest we held before. So congratulations, Julie. I'm glad that you love seeing him live because you get to because we're going to get you a pair of tickets mm. to that show. Someone's going to be reaching out to you, and if you would like to join Julie in those rankings, <laughs> if you follow Lightning 100 <laughs> on Volume.com between now and that show day, you'll be entered for a chance to win tickets there See you, as Julie. well. See you there. Yeah. Oh, 